Hey, I just got a 5% raise, but not from my employer. I got it from me. Let me show you how, and let me show you how to get that 5% raise you know you deserve. This is part one of our three-part series, Become Your Own Boss. So let's see if we can do it. Let's see if you can become your own boss. Tap the like button and we'll get started. Hi, my name is James Callahan and this is The Do-Over Show where we learn to do more with more instead of less. Yeah, it is the business mantra that's capturing everyone's attention these days, learning to do more with less. And it's what our boss tells us we should do. He's not gonna give us more, she's not gonna pay us more or give us more time off, but she's gonna ask more of us. And so we play along, hoping for a reward, hoping for a raise, but it rarely comes. One reason for this is that unemployment is still really high since the world began to change in early 2020. So most of us are told we should just be happy that we have a job and learn to do more with less. Another reason for the difficulty in getting a raise today is that the biggest pay jumps come not from staying and working at a company and working your way up, but from making a job change. Yep, that's where most of the pay bumps come these days. Not when we stay with our current employer. Staying at the same job, same company, is the slowest, lowest reward when it comes to increased pay. And it's been that way for a while. But people keep telling us that staying long-term shows stability and maturity in a job and in a career. Showing that stability and commitment are important, are important to our employer. Hey, but we also get something out of this status quo, this stay with a job for stability's sake. We get, for example, a W-2 to show the mortgage company. And we also get that sense of security and routine and everydayness that comes from knowing that we have a job. And that fills an important spot in our lives. It gives us a sense of security when it comes to not only our career and our identity, but also our money. So what can we do to get the raise we deserve with all of these pressures telling us that your raise is unlikely? Well, today is part one of three of our series, Become Your Own Boss. And the first important step in becoming our own boss is to get that raise. We have to give it to ourselves though. So give yourself the raise you deserve. When we wait, when we expect our employer to give us that raise, we're asking them to give us money from what they earn. Your raise comes from somewhere, from someone's pocket. It doesn't just grow on trees. We are asking them to take it from one column and to give it to us. And that's what the give yourself a raise, pay yourself first idea is about moving money from one column or bucket to another. And that's up to us, not our boss. So I gave myself a raise. I started with the 10% pay yourself first a while back. And I have to admit, I kind of cheated. You see, I went with net rather than gross. So the 10% was what was there after taxes, after retirement contribution, after health insurance. So it's the number that actually appeared on my paycheck. Why? Well, because it was easy. Well, then I gave myself a raise on top of that 10%. I added five more percent. So now I'm taking 15% and paying myself first. Moving it out of my bank account and into an investment account every time I get paid. Now, your risk appetite may be different. And moving that pay yourself first amount into a simple savings account may be what you need to get started. It may start your emergency fund, which is a fantastic way to build up that sense of well-being and security when it comes to money and job and life. And the longer we hang on to that money, the safer it feels, the more secure a balance feels, whether it's our emergency fund or whether it's an investment in a stock or security. That's one of the strange things about the psychology of money. So based on, say, $50,000 of net take-home pay, that's based on today's median average annual income of $61,000 to $65,000, I went from paying myself $5,000 to paying myself $7,500 each year. In that scenario, each and every paycheck, I'm giving myself $288 rather than just $192. Divide that by 26, getting paid every two weeks, and that means I got a raise of $96 every single paycheck. It's only 5%, but it feels like so much more. By the way, now you know why 5% pay increases from our jobs are so rare. I want you to know something, Ed. It is not about the number. 
It is about the way my work is valued in this firm. It's about how no matter what I do, you're not... Ah, uh, but this means something else for me and my family. We end up living on 5% less because I gave myself a 5% raise. How does that feel? Well, honestly, I gave myself that initial 10% and I ended up living on less than 10%, so I decided I could give myself more than 10% of my income. Does that even make sense? And this is without changing jobs, without adding an income stream, without giving up sleep, without skipping meals and calling it fasting in order to save money. Yep, this is without changing anything. I moved from 10% to 15% with my 5% raise. And here's the little trick that it plays on us. So pretty soon, I will start to feel like I am getting paid more than people who are paid the same annual salary that I am. Because at the end of the year, I will have $7,500. $7,500 to do something with, $7,500 to put to work for me, to hire someone, and that's part two of the challenge in Become Your Own Boss, so make sure you come back for that. And I hope this has given you some ideas, given you a little bit of courage that you can do the thing that you know you deserve and give yourself that raise. And take the first step to become your own boss. So subscribe so you don't miss part two and tap the notifications bell because that'll let you know. And while you're there, tap the like button too. Hey, let's do all three. And in the meantime, if you want to find out more of what it's like to pay yourself first, I did this video not long ago that will give you some good detail about how to get it started. And thanks for being part of the Do Over Show. Please remember to tap the like button. And I'm so glad you found me and I found you. Thanks.